going from Nice to Lee was a long and arduous journey. I am 49 years old now and um, I started the transition at 22. I come from a generation where it wasn't heard about, or even spoken about. You know, so it was very sort of hidden. So going from Nice to Lee and growing up, you know, with a family that was dysfunctional at the time, you know, in a lifetime of turmoil, it was a very difficult thing to deal with. It takes a lot of courage and strength, you know, to for somebody that's been assigned male or female at birth and you feel like the opposite sex, you know, um, I wouldn't want anybody to go through it. It would be cruel for anyone to grow up and go through puberty and to go through it. Okay, so as far as I'm concerned, it takes a lot of courage and a lot of strength to go through gender reassignment surgery to be the person that you feel you should be assigned it as um, you know, the day was born. So um, there are a lot of issues around it, there's a lot of risks around it, there's symptoms involved. So to transition from Lisa to me, um, it's not as simple as it seems. Living with Lisa helps me through my transition by writing the book and the experiences that I've gone through. Um, I, it helped me to heal and to overcome all the issues that were involved with gender dysphoria. And also, I was guided to help others so that they can get help, they can get help and support that they need. Um, anybody that's going through it, no matter what triggers that are involved, what situation they're in, no matter anything, basically. So, I was guided to write the book and to help others. Um, and the gender story is only one part of it, there's the angel story as well to the book. So, that's what makes this book even more powerful because it's intertwined with spirituality as well. So, um, I basically had a call to write the book and to help others. It's great to be presented as a, a new presenter for a new documentary. Um, I just feel that this, this is a role that I've, I've got to do and feel. Um, because the book's come out now as an author, so um, I think I just need to continue with the journey really and just uh, get out there and be, be the person I am. The message that I have for other people out there that are living with gender dysphoria is to go and get support, firstly, um, because one would feel isolated, confused, afraid, lonely, maybe even suicidal, with the experiences that I've gone through in my lifetime. Um, and it's not an easy thing to deal with, you know, it's being able to come out, to a family, to a friends, and also being able to be accepted in society regarding gender bias. So I suggest that anyone out there that's going through this, no matter what stage they are, no matter how old they are, um, it's cruel, as I said before, for anyone to go through the knowing that they're going through gender dysphoria. So I suggest that you go and get support and advice and help.